So I'm here to finally show you guys my nail room that I have slowly been fixing up while I was like going to school and stuff. Um, I'm not completely done with it yet, uh, but I don't think I ever will be because I feel like I'll slowly like just add more stuff on the wall, probably end up moving stuff around here and there and always changing it. So may as well show you it while it has like the little vibes that it has right now. I'm not taking clients right now, so that's the reason that I still have carpet because I am going to switch that out for a washable like flooring. I don't know what yet. We'll see. We'll see. But for now, like I said, this is the vibe that's giving off. And so I wanted to give you guys some inspiration for any nail techs who are looking to like build their room at home. This room does have a certain vibe. It is definitely like Y2K slash Gen Z vibes is what it is, you know, so. foldable desk so if needed I can take this and do mobile work I actually haven't tested it out but I bought it for that specific reason and for like my guest I can fold it up and put it up this is a basic dining room chair I just put some pillows um, on it just to make it more comfortable because they're gonna be sitting in your chair for a couple hours you know so yeah, you can see that that is what it actually looks like and um, I have two I have two covers and I'll go ahead and link them everything I will link in the description I have two just in case one's dirty I can wash one while I'm using the other one I need to buy another chair and I'm gonna go ahead and link the stuff that I haven't even bought that way you guys in case y'all have the money to buy everything you can go ahead and purchase the stuff that I have my eye on but I, this is just my desk chair so I'm going to buy another chair, probably a saddle chair for my back. I have a couple pictures up here. I painted the cloud so that the clients would have something to look at while they're, you know, getting their nails done. But I ended up getting a, um, a TV Then I made sure to place it kind of like off to the side a little bit. That way I'm not like right in their face and they can like watch it off to the side. It's going to be like... The stuff that I reach for the most I'm gonna show you guys what is on each level so that you guys have an idea of what to purchase or how to organize your stuff the top I have the basic stuff I have hand sanitizer in case my client wants to grab some as well I might put something up on the wall or like put an extra one somewhere um, but here I have all my basics and all my essentials so I have my lint free cloth my acetone my dusting brush some monomer I have some hard gel right here, <clears throat> and I always say little baggies, I don't know why, um, so I could reuse them later. I have my dappening dishes right here, the clean, clean ones right here, um, my bits and my little bit thing. I got this on AliExpress, but I don't like it that much because you just lift it off. I would prefer if you could like seal it closed. Um, don't know why this is here, but I have some... Um, so I keep the things that my bits come in so that I can put the glue and keep it upright. And this is just a lipstick organizer. And I have here my, you know, stuff that I reach for with every so cuticle oil for the end. Um, top coats, I have one, two different kinds. A blossoming effect. Um, and then like brush cleaner or brush saver for the dip brush. And then... Um, primer dehydrator or bond and then another top coat that i like so these are going to be different viscosities and also one of these is contaminated with glitter so i use oh excuse my arms guys i'm gonna get waxed this weekend but uh one of these is contaminated with glitter so i use that whenever there's a glittery you know set that way i don't get the one that doesn't have glitter all shiny um, and then I have my little drill holder. My drill is here on the... Oh my god, why is there no bit on it? What the hell? 
then I just have it like clipped onto the side here because I have um, a portable chargeable one. I do like that you can use it while it's charging. So if it dies while you're using it on your client, you can just plug it in and it'll work while it's charging. I have my standing bands here, medium coarse and um, medium coarse and fine. My tip cutter, I kind of just say to the side. And then I have this really cool um, thingamabob. It was like 13 bucks and it holds people's phones. I'm like using it as a mic. But yeah, this holds people's phones. And um, it's just really convenient, you know, for the client. But I guess now that I have the TV, it doesn't matter as much. And then I have some gum. Um, my, oh, the battery's died, I forgot. But this is a UV light for like flash curing. And I have a bunch of art brushes right here. Um, so stuff to make like 3D flowers or whatever I want. And then different brush strokes. I don't really use these that much, but I just have them up here because they look cute. <clears throat> and um, what else? Oh, alcohol in a spray bottle. And that is pretty much it. Oh, I have some poly gel on the side here. I don't really do that for clients, but these are really good for adhering stones. Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit harder to see, but um, this is the second tier. I kind of just shoved this down here. This is from my uh, state board little kit, but I have some clean tools that I haven't put into sterile bags because either I didn't have like one of each, like a nipper, a clipper, and a pusher. So it's like they're single. Um, and then I keep my acrylic brush in here. That way people know that it's clean. I cleaned it and then bits to but when I clean them, I uh, I don't always put them in here right away. Sometimes I put them in this thing and then I transfer them over. In this bag, I have my um, I have my nail forms, and then I make sure to always have some that are pre-cut as well. So if they have a square, um, what's it called? A cuticle, a square nail bed, then I use the pre-cut ones which are uh, foils, cottons for removals. But yeah, these are all pre-cut for the square nail bed folks. And that's in the third tier. I don't reach for these as often, but it saves a lot of time to have them, like some pre-cut already. And then I have, so this is gonna be like my nail tips and then some core colors when it comes to acrylic or anything that I didn't have to fit on the shelves above. And then this bag is kind of like, um, so I have an X-Acto knife, a cleanup brush, rhinestone placer. Um, in the foil, I have extra blades for the X-Acto knife in the aluminum and then some tape in case um, I need it for like my thumb. Sometimes my skin gets really dry and it gets like annoyed with all the chemicals. So sometimes I'll use this to protect my thumb, but now I just wear gloves. And then um, some sticky tabs for making press-ons. And then I have all my tips, of course. These I just bought and I haven't used them, but I'm really excited to. They're natural extra large square tips. So we'll see what I create with these. And then my full cover tips that I love. These are a little bit too curved. I didn't like these that much. These are my favorite that I'm almost, I need to replace almost. But these are, um, what's it called? Stiletto. So you can make coffin nails really easily with these. And then with stiletto, they're already shaped for you. And then I have extra top coat down here and a matte top coat. And this actually ruined in my car because I left it in there. And now it won't cure. This, I need to buy another one to replace it. But this one is really good for hairdressers because it prevents staining. So your clients who do hair will not have like brown or black nails. And the third tier is gonna be the stuff that I just whip out once. So my UV lamp, because it does take a lot of space on my table. I have my little armrest that I clean in between each client and put a towel on top of. And then I have, um, I have some gloves right here. And then I have stuff for removing um, acrylic. And then I actually got this at the dollar store, but they're little clear containers. So I like to use this for catching stones if I'm using like the, the ones you pour over. I don't know what they're called. That bag that I showed you is gonna have um, the cotton foil and then the pre-cut wraps and also these little things that are kind of useless for taking off acrylics. Of course, there's stuff that I reach for that are not here and that's gonna be in my closet. But this is gonna be most like 90% of everything that you need for doing nails.
don't mind all these missing. I put them in a box and then I lost the box. So this is my storage closet. It's kind of a closet, not just for nail stuff, just like my hobby stuff. So you're gonna see this is all primers and stuff for makeup. And then this whole rack is gonna be where all like the nail stuff is. This is all gonna be mostly powders. I do have some like miscellaneous foundations. I'll just put it up right here. Um, but this is all gonna be stuff like literal random stuff like bronzers, blushes, all my palettes. Um, and the top drawer we have sticks that I own. And then I threw a lot of stuff away too because it was expired. So this is what I have left. I don't really freelance anymore. So this is the stuff that you know I have left if I have to like do a makeover I'm gonna have to rebuy like foundation and a, a bunch of stuff but um here I have like my belt and then like a palette and then some like face paint and then eyeliner and then at the very bottom is gonna be like extra storage stuff that I don't really need or use right now um, as you can see I have a bunch of like art stuff in here in the corner top I like to make sure that I keep like little containers and stuff probably gonna put manicure brushes in here and then put it in my restroom so I always keep little boxes because you never know you literally never know I just made this for like some stickers and I just made a sign out of it you know so I, I'm like a hoarder when it comes to boxes and then over here here I'm gonna have anything having to do with my camera like extra little batteries and then these little things that I put on my box light uh, microphone and my camera bag um, and this is gonna be mostly for nails I have like a jar of lashes right here that I keep clean um, yeah, this is makeup. I've got some N95s like I said I keep boxes because you never know and um, right here I have an extra little like portable drill in case mine messes up but I do have mine on the cart I have some bags for press on nails and then in this section down here I'm gonna have like implements like files that I always pre-season them and then keep them in here to save some time and then some gloves some what's it called uh, self sealing pouches like the cuticle pushers and stuff and then I have my bag of buffers and then some pumice stones and toe separators and then some um, sandals foam sandals for your feet the very bottom is like a mix so it's gonna be dental bibs which I have yet to use I also have paper towels in case I don't like them and then extra stuff like monomer barbicide and acetone you can see I have like canvases because I said mm, this is like my storage closet and then my case for whenever I travel and I accept mobile appointments here I have actually this is my TDLR box and then I have this literal like box full of fabrics because I have this dusty crusty chair that is like the perfect shape for doing like nail photo shoots so I make sure to cover it in the fabric whatever matches the nails and then I do my photo shoots on there an extra chair cover there we go. Up here we have painting stuff. Literally all my paint. My um, extra box light and then some light bulbs. And here we have some jewelry boxes for doing press-ons. Here I'm going to have all the little implements that I have, like that I put in there, like the push, critical pusher, the wooden ones. And then full cover tips, sticky tabs, little files, and then a jar for this one. Here I have like random little stuff. These are files that I keep whenever I work on press on nails or dummy hands. Since they don't touch humans, you could reuse them till they're, you know, dull. And then some gloves for protection against the UV light. I always like to go to my dollar store and grab these little random like jars to put stuff in. Like here I have custom powder colors that I have mixed and I grab labels and I make sure to write down which colors I use to mix it that in case you know a client likes that color I can remake it and a little pop socket, more full cover kits. Here's extra primer and dehydrator and 
some stuff for my label machine, which is right here, along with a mess of stuff I made. And here I have disposable stuff like little sponges for chrome, um, old business cards, lint-free wipes, spoolies, lip applicators, and some dummy nails. So here I put all my regular nail polish, which isn't really much because I hate it. <laughs> And then here, I don't know why I put these little scarves down here, um, probably for photos. And then here I have an extra, what is that called? Well, okay. I don't know. And then a bunch of like extra cords, like chargers and stuff for my dust vents, nail file, just a bunch of little random cords, electrical. And I think that's it. I make sure that I put my nail decals in this binder right here. Um, this is art that I made, yes. I will have it up on my Etsy shop in case you wanna buy a print. But in here I have those little sleeves and I made sure to put a piece of paper in there and then using tape, I taped this down to the paper. So I make sure I keep them organized so you know, I'll, I'll try to keep like spring stuff with summer stuff, Valentine's stuff together, you know, um, luxury brands. Here I have some like loose stuff, Halloween. I don't have that much because like I said, I'm not taking clients, but I'm making sure I keep it organized for them. And then I have, I always keep random boxes. Like I said, this is like a kid toy box, but and it's a really cool little art box because it's see-through and they can look at it and be like, oh, that's cute. Oh, the rest of my art is in here. I do have like those little fuzzy magnetic balls. And we also have Swarovski. I put those in those little jar. And I these are gonna be like the cheaper rhinestones and foils, little like stars. What else? Hearts. Here are my chrome powders. Oh my god. This should be more official, huh? I'll get like filing eventually. Um, my foundations, my backup ones, and some loose glitters right here. Not organized at all. The labels. So I bought this stuff for toothbrushes because I figured I could put my brush in here, like my acrylic brushes. And any detailing brushes when I'm traveling, I'm put in here. And then I have my portfolio. So this binder, I bought some album refill things, and then I just printed them out at CVS. And literally, you know what? I can double side this actually. So I might move these over here. That way they can look on both sides. And I'm trying to group them. You know, like these are all short nails. These are all like I don't know. So I was gonna put like. The same shapes or same color schemes together since my portfolio is very small it's kind of hard to organize right now um but that is a really good idea if you want to make one for your clients to look for if they don't know what they want it might help them you know make their decision faster if they see something they like be like oh can you do that on me here i have some of the fabrics that i like to hang up um like i said because i do little photo shoots on this chair right here is it up all the way That way the client doesn't have to bend over. And then they could put their little hands right here. And you can buy like those diamonds. I have like this little moon. Whatever you want them to hold. And then they just like, you know, pose their little hands. You take a picture of it. And then I can just switch out the fabric. And then, you know, just switch it up real quick. Oh, it's Valentine's Day. You need something sexy and satiny in the background for your Valentine's nails. Boom, 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 you know? Literally right here so headphones in case i'm editing real late my baby's room is next door so i don't like to make like a lot of noise for him and then here i have this little phone holder tripod thing in case i need like multiple angles or anything when i'm doing videos on like something quick on my phone this is something that i could easily just right here and film like for tiktok and then you know, use it on my phone. Sometimes I just use this little thing too that I showed earlier and that can phone, hold your phone up like right here to where it's looking out to what you're doing. So that's really cool too. This mirror kind of ruins the magic, huh? And that is it. I hope you guys have a successful, successful 
nail school experience and I hope that your career as a nail tech is just like everything that you hope for. I I hope the same for me. Um, so that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.